So we're here today, right now, on the health and safety walkway at Ideal Boilers. Ideal Boilers have been manufacturing boilers on this site since they were founded in 1906. They were one of the first companies to invent a British boiler that had central heating in the cook and heat of the 1920s, the O series to the mid 1930s, the slightly more modern and catchily named number three domestic gas, the 1950s autocrat, the 1960s elite, the 1970s Concorde, the 1980s Sprint, the 1990s classic and classic SE, to boilers that we know today, the 2009 Logic Plus, and the Logic Max, one of which I'm going to be able to build later in this video, and also the Vogue Generation 2. And Katrina, my guide, showed me that they were still investing on improving their factory even today. Here we are at our new boilers. We're just going to go and look at our new investment to our steel plant, um, which is a £5 million investment in brand new presses. Is this the bit you said was super secret and we weren't allowed to see? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the press here? At the minute, it looks like they're in the, in the process of um, swapping the tool over. Okay. So, these presses here that you can see, so we, we manufacture all of the steel components that go into our products. Okay. So they're not bought in components, we buy the raw steel, so it's in flat sheets. And they get built, and they get pressed here? And they get pressed here. So they're um, a series of presses that allow the parts to transfer through. So having learned about how Ideal Borders are going to update their factory, Katrina then led us off to the next stage, the ominously named clinch machine. This machine is responsible for making the chassis of our boiler. And that's what they're going to do with that right now? And that's what it's just doing now. The brackets into the bed, so the sensors in that, in that equipment to make sure they fit all of the parts. All the panels that are made in the press are brought over to the clinch machine and then laid in this special unit by the guys on shift. There's loads of little sensors that make sure that they don't miss a unit out and then the clinch machine comes down and does its work. And then the shuttle takes it into the clinch machine the press comes down and it actually forms like a, a button, a, like a mushroom shape. So there's no welding and there's no riveting on this chassis at all. Okay, at no all. welds at all? No welding at all. We then popped over to a really cool bit that I always love to see and that's actually watching the chassis getting painted up. The chassis and the whole line are electrostatically charged to actually attract the paint to them when it's being sprayed on. But I'll let Katrina explain more. Because uh, they got that sign up there, is that this is a quality product, yes or no? Is that also like an area of which the guys who are putting the chassis off can have a quick look at it? Yes, okay. Yeah. And if there's one they're not happy with, they'll take it off the line. Yes, they will. Okay. And, we, cool. and they'll put them into the region. Yeah. So the, the chassis come round on the uh, on the conveyor and go through, and then the guns actually pin. Uh, Blast the powder paint onto the chassis, so the okay. line is electrostatically charged, and the paint stick. Yeah. Then it goes through the ovens, and um, when it goes through the ovens, obviously it melts the paint and cures the paint. So I'd seen how the chassis were made, and I knew that in a few minutes' time I'd be building one of these borders myself. So I thought it'd be a good idea to not go into this completely blind and meet the people who make the components and see what the components are that go inside the boiler. So these guys are putting in their gas governor uh, and gas, valve. Gas line assembly. Yeah. Boiler before we build the product itself, we have a series of sub assemblies. I like to liken it to like a little bit of a jigsaw. So you have the chassis, the box where all the bits go into, Back and then a series of sub assemblies that the operator who builds the boiler, he actually will pick a series of those, put them together, and then, and then 10 minutes later, the boiler's ready for testing. I had a quick chat with a lovely old boy called Lee who was building and testing the gas valves. Basically, yeah, so what I'm doing here yeah. is building the logic ones. Right. Here's the logic gas valves. Then um, slip the bottom pipe. Now I'm washer. What we do is scan the valve. First of all, Lee actually scans onto the workstation to see that he's building those parts. Lee started expertly constructing up this gas valve, putting on the O-ring that I'm sure loads of you guys have seen. But you probably didn't know that there's loads of cameras that are actually filming the back of the valve to make sure that certain things and clips are in. Even this torque wrench he's using reads back to a computer to say that the actual gas valve has been tightened up properly and that plug he's got there is telling the computer while it's being tested that everything's okay. So we actually open the gas valve and check the full assembly. The screen goes green and the barcode prints just off that printer just uh, okay. next to you. And then barcode on. <laughs> yeah, and then bang it over there. Yeah. Gasket onto the rig. Uh, pick up the water set onto the rig. Flexi hose, no ring. And what's that little laser there? There's like a little lasery bit. That, that makes sure that there's a, a gasket. That, ah, that makes okay, sure yeah. there's a present. Put the pipe with a nut, a little fiber washer. Fasten that into the position. Tighten it finger tight. 
once you've got a torque, two lights will come on there. Okay. Another little rubber washer onto there. Close that, open. That's it done. I toured around the factory for a few hours and it doesn't take long to realise that everything is built with the utmost care and attention. We saw everything being made from the waterways for the heat exchangers to the wiring systems to the condense traps. All the guys and girls who work there seem really happy. There's definitely not a real community vibe going on. This is a big factory in the Hull area and loads of people work there know each other outside of work as well. But as much as I might try, I couldn't avoid any longer the building of my own logic and Tom took me over to the final assembly area to learn how. We're doing the whole thing here from yeah. start to finish. Yeah, so they'll pick the chassis up and they've all got their individual cards. Yeah. Put the serial number yeah. of the boiler on. Scan into your first station. So you'll scan your operator card, then scan the boiler in. So anchor brackets on first. Drum it in. great watching Tom expertly put the boiler together but also it was brilliant to watch the quality control aspect that goes behind this process. For instance the screwdriver he's using here is linked to the computer screen next to him that will tell him when the screw he's on is properly tightened up and the same goes for tightening up nuts or bolts on the boiler. In a few minutes time I'll be doing this process myself and thankfully with the guidance of Tom. Once he finished doing his boiler he put it into a special test rig that simulates being on a fully working system while a robot and a myriad of lasers check to make sure that every component was on the boiler. At this point, guys, I started sweating a bit. So it's actually measuring the components to make sure the right ones have been fitted, make sure the screws are in position, make sure he's put the connections on correctly. So the robot's actually doing this in the same cycle time as doing the pressure test. Oh, yeah. oh my God, guys, the moment of truth. It was now my turn and I was definitely bricking it. Come on in. Honestly, I'd not have been able to do this without the help of the guys who were there. I got the beast put together in about half an hour, I think, and then wheeled the boiler into the test rig where we waited with bated breath to see if it would pass. Keep pressure on him. <laughs> Guys, I thought doing a best man speech or getting married or having my appendix out was gonna be stressful. But looking at that screen, waiting for the boiler to have all its scans done is possibly one of the most terrifying moments of my life. Imagine the space center at Houston at the end of Apollo 13. It was that tense. And that's it, you're done. Passed. You passed. Well done. Problem. See you, you on Monday. Five of this See you on Monday. <laughs> I watched the boilers get packaged up and come down the conveyor belt, said goodbye to the team at Ideal Boilers and then headed across the Humber to actually watch the boiler be installed. So guys, another day, another dollar. You probably can't hear me very well because that would be normal mic on. Um, yeah, so we're actually over where that boiler that we saw come up the pallet is being installed by the dudes at CD Plumbing in Grimsby. So we're gonna go into on site now, we're gonna watch them install it. So let's have a little look. We did have a bit of a chat about how funny it is that I was filming him do this because I personally hate customers watching me work. It's been watched to a whole new level customers watching. But Chris and his team are top old boys. They're part of the accredited installer network, which means the standard of their work is really high. I filmed with them for about four or five hours and just had a wicked time talking about like plumbing stuff and the trade and everything like that. Seriously, I can't thank Chris and his team enough for letting us film. Get those irons going, Paul. Oh, that's a pro. There's a beer up here as well, isn't there? Where did you go? Uh, well, we went to Claythorpe, I mean. Don't worry guys, I did pop out and buy everyone a load of coffee, so that kept Chris happy. He started making those sorts of noises, you know what I mean? Anyway, I thought I'd wait until he'd finished installing the boiler to ask him why he fits loads of ideals. 
So how many ideal borders do you fit in like roughly a month or a year? What's the what's the amount of borders you fit in? Last year we did 78. This is the fourth this month, so 10 this year so far. So why do you fit so many ideals? I mean, there's lots of different border manufacturers out there, that sort of thing. What is the one that sways you to fit so many of these for your customer? Um, reliability, really. We never very rarely have problems, I should say. And if we ever do, they dealt with really quickly. An ideal never once knocked anything back on warranties, really. What's your favourite bit about installing them as well? They're just really easy and just ideal are far easier. Yeah, so we do often get asked to fit other um, manufacturers, which we do do, but generally, if I can, I try and push them towards ideal. It's me that generally goes back, I do the servicing, so it makes our life easier and they're a lot easier to service than other manufacturers as well. From a plumber's perspective as well, I mean, I've obviously got the favourite bits of doing a job. What's your favourite bit about doing the job you've just done there? The pipe work. Not drilling the flue hole? No. <laughs> Luckily on this one it was already done. But yeah, generally uh, nice shiny pipes, clips. I'm yeah. really OCD with my clips all being straight. And... Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I saw that. That's good. So we are max accredited, accredited installers. With this one, you get a 10 year warranty with the Logic. And we've also done the training, which means we can offer the 12 year warranty on the Vogue's which we probably fit more of the Vogue's than we do the Logics due to the warranties. Aren't you also going to Florida as part of that scheme? Yep, Miami in May, so I've got to get beach body ready. A long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again, I can't thank Ideal Boilers enough for actually allowing me into their factory to make a film about their boilers. Everyone who worked at the factory really helped me out and answered all the questions that I asked of them. Also, CD Plumbing, you guys are amazing for allowing us to film that day. I'll leave links to CD Plumbing's Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You did a great install there. It was a pity I couldn't see it working, but as us plumbers always know, we're always waiting for the plasterer and the decorator before we can hang our radiators on the wall. Further question for both of you though. Uh, how emotional have you found today? Has it been an emotional day? Very. I don't know if you saw my hand shaking, it was the excitement rather than the nerves. Is it like, you know, were you emotional as well, Mike? Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that then? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching this plumberparts.co.uk video. It is a video about a boiler. It's not an instructional video. Please click that like button, please comment below, and please subscribe as well. Also, I'll see you over on my vlog channel, Times with James. There'll be a new video going up there in the next few days.